All right, the weather's definitely got colder. I'm now wearing two jackets, or at least a hoodie and a jacket. So getting a little further on the teardrop, progress is not as far as I hope. Uh, the rain was just dumping, dumping down the last few days. And it messed with my mirror a little bit because I didn't quite get it finished. I don't know what I mean by my mirror. I got some run marks there. But I kind of have the front temporary done because I kind of like that mirror a lot. I saw it online. So I thought I'd just draw one myself. But uh, yeah, I got that going on. That's not too bad. Kind of happy about it. Gonna work today on the ceiling. So I got some really thin finished wood that I'm gonna stain and put on the ceiling, but I think I'm just gonna put it on the ceiling then stain it because it's just so gosh darn cold. It'll take forever to dry. It's about 40 degrees right now, so I mean, it's not horrible. So that's the wood I got. Um, it's finished cabinet wood. Thought it would look kind of cool. I plan to cut it in two pieces actually. I'm gonna have a line down the middle, but then I'm gonna cover that with a really dark, dark piece of wood. Uh, probably five inches thick or so. We'll see. I haven't worked with that yet. I am also planning. Uh, the eight foot only goes to about where that two by four is right about there. So I was planning this anyway. I am gonna have a cushion back. So I'm gonna upholster a back that you can kind of have like a headboard, you might say, on that part. And then once when I get the uh, ceiling in i'm going to build the wall because i don't as you can tell i don't have the wall for the uh kitchen or the cabinetry yet that's going to go inside and it's going to have a we have a little small tv we're going to mount in here as well so and then of course i got the whole galley work but i do have the door drying inside the garage because it's just again too dosh gone cold mind the mess of the garage kind of the way it goes lately so anyway yeah i have the back galley door all set just letting it dry more all right that's the scoop uh, i'm gonna get busy put this together Okay, I'll have to be honest, I don't like admitting that I make a mistake, but I made a mistake. So I was trying to bend and attach the ceiling, like so. However, with a thinner piece, I was trying to do it half and half and I was gonna run a cool section down the middle. Well, the damn thing snapped on me as I was bending it. Sorry, I don't have video of that, but really hate admitting that I made a mistake, especially with wood that costs $17 a sheet. That's so thin. Yeah, anyway. So what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna use a spray bottle with nice warm water. Soak this pretty good. And slowly start bending it. Both the front and the back, I'm gonna soak down pretty good. I thought that little shin, thin sheet could handle a bend like that without snapping, and I was wrong. So I'm trying part number two. If this doesn't work, and I'm not going to post it on Facebook, or I should say YouTube, I'll have to use a different type of material to do this bend. They say use a steamer, but I don't have a steamer this big, so I'm hoping the water itself, being nice and warm, will do it. We'll see. Anyway. That's the update. Didn't quite work. I had to change my design now. What I'm doing is one big sheet in the middle and I'm gonna do two thinner sheets, which I have a nice piece left right there. I should be able to cut in half and run down either side. Yeah, and what I was doing is leaving a little gap uh, around the edge so I can run some strip LED lights that'll light from the edge and I'll be adding also another piece of wood or probably actually I just might even use foam 
um, and then cover it with the material and paint it like black so that it actually has like a gutter that it shines down because I don't like actually seeing LEDs but it'll glow on the walls and that should give it a nice even glow light in here well anyway again thanks for watching me make a mistake even though you didn't get to see the the snap so I'm gonna soak this up some more see if we can get it to bend all right between raindrops and freezing weather um going to do a little bit of work and show you my progress actually that I've got done. I didn't film everything, but uh, let me flip the camera around here. And the mural's coming along pretty good. I don't have the flag done yet. Um, like I said, I actually wasn't really doing much with the outside of this at this point. I just want to seal it up with a good amount of paint. So kind of, kind of like though the mural I did. I seen it online, so I kind of just... Uh, freehand it <clears throat> so what I've been working on I've been working on the ceiling I took some uh, cabinet panel board really thin and you saw that I had a mistake in that last part of the video but I did get it to bend fine I got it a little wet that seemed to really help and just do it gently and it did not snap this time and I get stained it with a light gray. I will be uh, putting some uh, varnish over the whole thing to make it really, uh, really, really, really shiny. Uh, I have to retouch up that, but I knew I was going to do that because I splattered a little bit. So what I'm also going to start working on is the back wall. Uh, I haven't laid that out yet. Didn't even draw out my measurements. I just know I want my queen size bed to fit in here because it is a five foot dimension so that'll give me a good five feet which is 78 inches long which also I want 16 inches which just works out uh, that back section just to fit the cooler that I want to put back there I have an electric cooler that's a Coleman that runs off 12 volt and got that so that's where I'm going with that I painted the the back of this. I ran out of primer. Again, I'm using uh, let's see if I uh, it's oil-based primer, and it's made for um, stain blocker. Really, it's a bond type. You can't quite see it, but it says bond right there. I I didn't want to skimp on paint. I wanted to get the best paint I possibly can. However, I'm going to definitely have to get more so I can put another good coat of this. And I don't know if I've mentioned it before. This is the, the pep paper technique that I'm using on the inside, uh, like you can see on the walls. And the reason why I decided to do that on the walls is if I get any damage, like let's say uh, something goes in and pokes it real hard, which is possible because it is just foam for crying out loud. Uh, I can simply fill the hole with something like a little bit of foam and then take some more paper and just coat over it and then paint it and you will know no difference. Uh, so it's easy to repair. Very easy to repair. And I did it imperfectly so that it's imperfect and gives a texture. So you kind of have those bumps there. You can kind of see that on the back door a little bit better where I have a few wrinkles and whatnot. And that's kind of the look I was trying to achieve, which happens to be it works out real easy because that's kind of what it does. But again, I can repair it. So, yeah, I have the, uh, the back door really close to being installed with the hinge. And again, I have the uh, teardrop hinge right up here. The fancy dancy little hinge that keeps water out of it as well. And I haven't got my lock yet installed. Uh, well, I was going to show how that works. The NFC lock, so when this shuts. And I still have to do trimming. I haven't done any trimming around the edge of the door. That is something I'm going to be working on. A little more tedious to get it all lined up and how I want it. I was just trying to beat the rain, which I kind of really didn't. And I didn't want to put the back door on before I got these big uh, panels for the ceiling in. So I got that in. So if I do finish up the kitchen, then I can throw the back door on 
then it's kind of really sealed in and I probably just put a tarp over it instead of having this uh, uh, temporary awning which works okay but I really don't want to leave it up for the winter obviously so yeah the paint's not done in the back I just painted it so it kind of protects it <clears throat> I'm gonna get busy